Think about the belly button. This is one of the most powerful moves that you can do fascially or for the whole body. When we're born, the umbilical cord comes here and it starts out here and then the, goes all the way to the spine and up the spine. So this attachment, even though we cut it here, the fascial attachment goes right through the belly button to the spine the same way it was connected to the birthing process. So <clears throat> what we want to do here is every nerve, every, uh, every meridian, and every part of the body centralizes here. So this is one of the most powerful things you can do. You don't have to be a practitioner to do this. This, is, this will release the internal uh, pressure around the organs, bloating gas, hip pressure. It will also uh, release tension in the stomach and the entire body is gonna benefit from this. So what we wanna do is the body and fascia likes to work in spirals. Now we think of the body being linear and having long muscles, but that's not how we're created and that's actually not how it moves. So if we take here on the belly button, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a belly button untorque. And why we call it untorque is because it got torqued up. When we sit on our chair, what we're doing is putting pressure and the body starts to move like this. And the, the belt, that attachment that went from the belly button to the spine starts to move like that too. And over time, it just gets twisted. So I'm gonna put my hand in here. I'm gonna use my hand. I'm gonna use it by turning it. Now I'm gonna turn this counterclockwise. And you see, I'm gonna go from the right hip to the left hip, all the way around. And I'm gonna put one hand in, I'm gonna push in the belly button. And uh, I push in pretty hard. I mean, I'm pushing in with about nine pounds or 10 pounds of pressure. And then I'm gonna turn like this. So you can see the shirt turning and twisting. Now when I get to a maximum point here, what I'm gonna do is take my other hand, take it over top, and I'm just gonna provide more leverage. So this other hand comes in here as a leverage point, and then I can turn both hands easier. Now it's gonna be very uncomfortable for her at first. It's gonna feel like there's a bowel movement happening, which is completely normal. You feel that there? And you can see her starting to breathe. And then as I do this, now I just keep turning and I'm constantly turning the tension because it's unraveling inside. And what you're looking for is a feel. You're, what happens is as you torque, you start to feel pressure bend, build up and it's actually tension in the hand and the wrist. But then as she breathes, that tension starts to go away. So as the tension goes away, we wanna increase the tension just a little bit more. So we wanna keep it at a constant max, basically. There you go, you doing okay there? Okay. So what we're gonna do is uh, this is what I call programming state. Through anything through the belly button, anything counter rotated is, is, is what we call programming. So our nervous system gets programmed every day by things that we say. If we tell ourselves we're bad, we're good, if we tell ourselves we hate people. So we can just mechanically erase these and we can start off with some basic ones. And I want you to take a look at the body and how it reacts. And maybe even watch your face a little bit there. So you just repeat after me, Krissa. Say, I love myself. I love myself. Well, that's an easy one. A little bit of response in the body. But I'll tighten up a bit. Just say, I love my mother. I love my mother. That one's a little bit tough there, but it's all, oh, the body's really relaxing on that one. You can see her face starting to relax. Just say, I love my father. I love my father. Okay, we're getting a whole level, level of reactions. Basically, the body's responding to everything we do. When we talk, our body's job is to figure out what we're saying and how to respond to it. So it's responding again. Just say, I forgive myself. I forgive myself. Okay. And we just keep tightening it up. And see, I got a little bit more room here. For this case, I'm gonna move around because I'm actually running out of room. Just say, I no longer need to hold this pain in my body. I no longer need to hold this pain in my body. Whoa, the whole body just calmed down right there. That's super neat. Okay, we can ask other questions. Now I'm actually in the belly button and I can feel the belly button Right now on my middle finger, it kind of feels like it's torquing around so I can feel the attachment. Do you feel that as well? Yeah. So she feels it as well. Oh. It's a bizarre feeling, but it certainly is good. Oh. Okay, now, oh, there it goes. Now I feel it starting to move into the hip. And I can actually track it down if I want. I can go right through, it'll pass right through the organs. And it'll actually separate them. And I just keep turning. Okay. And then there'll be a point 
where the body just says, I'm learning to not be so hard on myself. I'm learning to not be so hard on myself. There it goes. You can say whatever you think is appropriate. And as I unwind, now there's going to be a little bit of redness around the belly button. And you'll actually see the torque marks right here. These are the unwinding. Now imagine these fascial layers are going all the way over here, all the way down here, all the way here, all the way here in a torque. So these spread out through the whole body in each and every way. And it's a perfect example of what you're seeing right here. How do you feel, Krista? I feel amazing. <laughs> it's a little weird, isn't it? It feels good. Um, I can feel different layers of the body waiting to relax. And as we went through affirmations, I could feel how they triggered emotions, emotions. and how, it, how the body resisted or let go. Yeah, isn't that cool?